Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affair MCQ's program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was regarding the National Ayush Mission. Consider the following statements. One attempts to improve Ayush healthcare services nationwide through Ayush health and wellness centers under the Ayushman Bharat scheme. Two compulsory components of the mission include Ayush services, educational institutions, quality control of ASU and H drugs, and medicinal plants. Three, the Union Cabinet has recently approved the operationalization of multiple Ayush health and wellness centers under a centrally sector scheme. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. It aims to improve Ayush healthcare services nationwide through Ayush Health and Wellness Centers under the Ayushman Bharat scheme. And statement 1 is correct. Compulsory components of the mission include Ayush services, educational institutions, quality control of ASU and H drugs, and medicinal plants. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The Union Cabinet has recently approved the operationalization of multiple Ayush Health and Wellness Centers under a centrally sponsored scheme. Hence, statement 3 is not correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements. One, cooperative banks in India are registered under the Cooperative Societies Act of the State Concerned or the Multi-State Cooperative Societies Act 2002. Two, the Reserve Bank regulates the banking functions of urban cooperative banks under the provisions of sections 22 and 23 of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Cooperative banks are financial institutions that are owned and operated by their members who are also the bank's customers. Cooperative banks in India are registered under the Cooperative Societies Act of the State Concerned or the Multi-State Cooperative Societies Act 2002. And statement 1 is correct. The Reserve Bank regulates the banking functions of urban cooperative banks under the provisions of sections 22 and 23 of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements. One, citizenship in India is listed in the union list under the constitution and thus is under the exclusive jurisdiction of parliament. To the Citizenship Act 1955 outlines five ways to acquire Indian citizenship by birth, descent, registration, naturalization or through the incorporation of territory into India. Which of the statements given above is or are not correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. Citizenship in India is listed in the union list under the constitution and thus is under the exclusive jurisdiction of parliament. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The Constitution of India on 26 January 1950 established categories of people eligible for Indian citizenship. It also granted Parliament the authority to regulate additional aspects of citizenship such as granting and renunciation. Under this authority, Parliament enacted the Citizenship Act 1955. The Act specifies that citizenship may be acquired in India through five methods by birth in India, by descent, through registration, by naturalization, extended residence in India, and by incorporation of territory into India. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is regarding the Corbett Tiger Reserve. Consider the following statements. 1. It is located in Himachal Pradesh. 2. The project Tiger was launched in 1973 in Corbett National Park. 3. The reserve is traversed by the Dholi Ganga River. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option A, only one. It is located in the Nanital district of Uttarakhand. Hence, statement one is not correct. The project Tiger was launched in 1973 in Corbett National Park, first national park of India, which is part of Corbett Tiger Reserve. Hence, statement two is correct. The national park was established in 1936 as Heli National Park, to protect the endangered Bengal tiger. The core area forms the Corbett National Park while the buffer contains reserve forest as well as the Sona Nadi Wildlife Sanctuary. The entire area of the reserve is mountainous and falls in the Shivalik and Outer Himalaya geological provinces. 
राम गंगा सोन नदी मंडल पलाइन एंड कोसी आर द मेजर रिवर्स फ्लोइंग थ्रू द रिजर्व हैंड स्टेटमेंट थ्री इज नॉट करेक्ट देर फॉर ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स वन फ्रेश डंग कंटेन्स मीथेन अलॉन्ग विद वॉटर मेकिंग इट एसेंशियल फॉर बायोगैस प्रोडक्शन इन एन आरोबिक डाइजेशन टू मीथेन अ की कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ बायोगैस is produced in the rumen of bovines during the fermentation of plant material they consume which of the statements given above is or are correct or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two fresh dung contains 80 to 85% water 1 kg weighs hardly 200 grams on drying fresh dung contains methane along with water making it essential for biogas production in anaerobic digestion breaks down biodegradable material without oxygen and produces biogas hence statement 1 is correct methane a key component of biogas is produced in the rumen of bovines the first of four stomach compartments in bovines during the fermentation of plant material they consume hence statement 2 is correct bacteria like microbes in the rumen known as archaea utilize carbon dioxide and hydrogen produced during carbohydrate fermentation to generate methane therefore option c is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding abortion one abortion is the deliberate termination of a pregnancy typically performed during the first 28 weeks of gestation to until the 1960s abortion was prohibited in india and violating this led to imprisonment or fines under section 312 of the indian penal code which of the statements given above is or are not correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option d neither one nor two abortion is the deliberate termination of a pregnancy typically performed during the first 28 weeks of gestation it can be achieved through various medical procedures or medications depending on the stage of pregnancy and the preferences of the individual seeking abortion hence statement 1 is correct until the 1960s abortion was prohibited in india and violating this led to imprisonment or fines under section 312 of the indian penal code hence statement 2 is correct The Shanti Lal Shah Committee was set up in the mid 1960s to investigate the need for abortion regulations. Therefore option D is the correct answer. Next question is regarding NBFC consider the following statements. One an NBFC registered under the Companies Act 1956 conducts financial activities such as lending and investing in securities excluding agricultural and real estate activities. Two, these institutions are generally permitted to accept traditional demand deposits from the public. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. An NBFC registered under the Companies Act 1956 conducts financial activities such as lending and investing in securities, excluding agricultural and real estate activities. Hence, statement one is correct. Typically these institutions cannot accept conventional demand deposits from the public hence statement 2 is not correct examples of nbfcs include investment banks mortgage lenders money market funds insurance companies equipment leasing companies infrastructure finance companies hedge funds private equity funds and p2p lenders therefore option a is the correct answer Next question is regarding the Beti Bachao Beti Padhao scheme consider the following statements one it is a tri ministerial effort of the ministries of women and child development the ministry of health and family welfare and the ministry of education two the central government has expanded the Beti Bachao Beti Padhao scheme to include skill development for girls in non traditional livelihoods which of the statements given above is or are not correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two It is a tri ministerial effort of the ministries of women and child development the ministry of health and family welfare and the ministry of education hence statement 1 is correct the central government has expanded the beti bachao beti padhao scheme to include skill development for girls in non traditional livelihoods hence statement 2 is correct at the national conference on skilling in non traditional livelihoods for girls the ministry of women and child development emphasizes the importance of convergence between various departments for providing quality education to empower girls therefore option c is the correct answer next question is regarding the line of control consider the following statements one the line of control emerged from the 1948 ceasefire line negotiated by the united nations after the kashmir war 
to it was designated as the LOC in 1972 following the Shimla agreement between India and Pakistan. Three LOCs demarcated up to the Siachen Glacier, the world's highest battlefield. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. The line of control emerged from the 1948 ceasefire line negotiated by the United Nations after the Kashmir War. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It was designated as the LOC in 1972 following the Shimla Agreement between India and Pakistan. Hence, statement 2 is correct. LOC is demarcated up to the Siachen Glacier, the world's highest battlefield. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is regarding watershed. Consider the following statements. 1. A watershed is an area of land that drains or sheds water into a specific water body. 2. It is not an independent drainage unit for surface water runoff. 3. One watershed is separated from another by a natural boundary known as the water divide or the ridge line. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option B, only two. A watershed, also called a drainage basin or catchment area, is an area of land that drains or sheds water into a specific water body. Hence, statement one is correct. It is an independent drainage unit for surface water runoff. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. One watershed is separated from another by a natural boundary known as the water divide or the ridge line. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Last question is consider the following statements. One, Lingayats are the followers of the 12th century social reformer philosopher poet Basaveshwara. Two, the Lingayats are devout followers of polytheism, worshipping multiple gods. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. The term Lingayat denotes a person who wears a personal ling, an iconic form of the god Shiv, on the body which is received during the initiation ceremony. Lingayats are the followers of the 12th century social reformer philosopher poet Basaveshwara. Hence, statement one is correct. The Lingayats are devout followers of strict monotheism, Worshipping only one god, the ling that is Shiv. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements. Statement 1. The Generation Equality Forum organized by UN Women, United Governments, Corporations and Advocates Worldwide to announce and commit to significant investments and policies for gender equality. Statement 2. The forum's ambitious action agenda is driven by multi-stakeholder action coalitions who together developed a global acceleration plan to advance gender equality. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statements? Both statements are correct and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1. Both statements are correct and statement 2 is not the correct explanation for statement 1. Statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect or statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.